What's up guys, Preserver Games here. Today we are starting a new series of Kenji. We are looking to get a, just a new one going. Unfortunately, my previous saves did get deleted. I got a new computer. Uh, wasn't too lucky with the recent old one that I had. Got hit by lightning a few times and uh, wasn't working good. So, got a new one. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't carry the saves over due to it not being able to function properly after getting completely wrecked by Zeus. So, uh, let's go ahead and just start a new one. I'm thinking potentially we're going to do a Wanderer start. And uh, as always, the Hunger Time, I think this is higher number means it takes longer. We'll keep this at one just because Hunger gets kind of annoying after a while. Um, it doesn't really add much to the difficulty, I would say. It just gets really tedious having to constantly eat food, especially when you make enough money, for example, mining copper to feed yourself. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh, but the chance of death will bring it on four times. The goal with damage multiplier, uh, as it says in the tools up here, it's the overall combat damage, combat damage for everything. Uh, it doesn't necessarily make the game harder or easier, but it affects the speed of the battles. I think for this we'll probably put it on like 1.5 since it doesn't actually affect the difficulty. We'll keep the production, research, and building speed normal, and the number of nests multiplied up to four times. Bandits will loot the player. I'm not sure what easy prospecting does. I believe it. I think it makes it easier for you to, well, prospect obviously, but I think it increases the value or the amount of resources in a certain area. I don't, I don't quite remember. I might be entirely wrong. All right, let's start. So we have quite a few mods on. Uh, I'll actually have the list in my description if you guys want to see what mods are currently on the system. I think we have more than like 20. So it's quite a lot. Let's hope it actually runs properly. All right, and we are here with our character creator. I don't have any of my imports or such because everything was gone. So we'll just make a new one. I'm wondering what race I should be here. Starting in the Empire, so it's probably, uh, excuse me, the, uh, wait, am I starting in the Holy Nation or the Empire? I don't know. I wonder it should be either, either in Blister Hill or the Hub, I think. Might be stuck. We'll just go with this one. There's no stat changes, I believe, to the better Greenlander. Oh, yes, the, wait, no, there's not. Nope, no stat changes. Okay, we'll go with the better one, just see it looks a little better. Make a nail character. Not gonna make you guys suffer through the entire character creation, so I'll just cut back whenever I'm completed with them. Alright, here's what we got. This is our character. I think I will keep him. Actually, no, I'll change it to Preserva for better readability. Let's see. There we Okay. And uh, I think that's what we'll go with. Greenlander sounds like a pretty decent all around start, I'd say. Let's confirm. Border zone, we are in the hot. Okay, cool. Good guess. So, what are we going to do? Let's have a look around and see if there's some easy ways to make money. Oh, before we start though, let me just change a few things in the gameplay. We'll change the squad size multiplier to four, three times actually, because it won't go to four. Uh, number of PC squads... NPC, excuse me. We'll change it four times too. Town raid size four times. How do we? Hmm, that would make it very difficult to make efficient towns. Yeah, with these settings, you'll find a lot of giant roaming squads that are very deadly. So we'll have to stay away from them quite a bit. I'm gonna just change a little bit of the settings here for graphical use. And we already have a wolfed in wiped out. Okay, so let's see what's a quick way to make money here. I'm thinking potentially mining iron, though copper is a better option if I can find one. There's a bit of blend down there. I don't know if I want to go there. Actually, we might be able to loot some stuff there. Also, this is one of the mods I have on. This uh, makes market stalls appear in the towns. So you'll be able to purchase different items from the towns itself, like little tiny stores and stuff. It's just little niche items, essentially, and maybe a little bit of food. There's quite a, a lot of dead people over there. 
Ah, the shinobi thieves got into a fight with someone, it seems. That's a lot of bone dogs, okay. Definitely just take the meat for later. That'd be very nice. Let's see if we can potentially sell it to the bar here. Interesting, okay, the shinobi thieves are here. Ah, it's the holy nation at walls. Interesting, why is there training dummies here? That's like a little outpost, okay. Well, let's sell some stuff. I think we'll go back and sell the rest of the leather so we can make at least a decent amount of money. And the teeth. The teeth are worth actually quite a little bit. How much does it sell for here? 25? Okay, maybe not, not that much, but hey, every little bit helps, so. You know, we have an inventory full of teeth and leather and a little bit more meat. Let's go sell it back again. Alright, and that's the last of the teeth and the leather, and we actually have quite a bit of meat to eat also. We'll just need to go cook it so that we can actually eat it. Anyone have a campfire I can use? What about you guys? You mind if I use a campfire? We got a bunch of dried meat for us to subsist on for a little bit. We're gonna go look for copper. Typically, there's a bit of few nodes down here. Here's some actually copper resource right here. I should pick up a little bit of decent armor so I can survive a couple hits. There's a lot of bone dogs roaming around. I think I will run circles until I hit 20 athletics, which is a good place to consider yourself safe enough to run away from bone dogs. That's a lot of bodyguards. Look at that. Man, imagine tackling this guy. That would not end well for you. Oh, there's a trader here that uh, is willing to trade. Let's see how much a guard costs. Oh, he sells drugs. Yeah, not looking to buy some hash sheaves today. There's a Garu that's dead. Oh, that's really good. He probably has some really valuable loot on him. All right, boys, we just got really, really lucky. Just gonna take this Garu over to the bar and sell everything. That is so much money. We are very well off now. Nice. The shopkeeper can't afford what I'm selling. I'm selling so much stuff. Go ahead and hire this guy. So Hobbs is a free companion if you actually get him to talk to you. There we go. Three companions now. I'm gonna go and grab the other guard that died. This holy nation guy doesn't see. good steal. Looks like he got into a fight when I was stealing and I'm not sure if he would actually attack me over there because they are not allied and they're not part of the citizenry so I'm not sure but I didn't want to risk it. Starving bandits. Go away please. Right, we're just gonna bring this one up to the hub. I'm thinking we take what we have here. Instead of buying a place at the hub we go to Blister Hill and purchase a place at Blister Hill. We're gonna have a match to their speed and then try to make it over to either Stack or Boister Hill. Depends how many dogs are between here and there. Oh, I didn't think of that either. The roaming squads for nests so high, most likely there's gonna be a lot of dogs. Look at all those wild bulls. So many of them. Wait, is that? This is Stack, right? Yes, it is. I'm not too far away. I could probably make it to Blister Hill. What is that out there? Escape server. Okay, not a problem. Thought they were starving bandits for a minute. I was getting a little concerned. Holy farm. Where? Am I close to one? Yes, I am. I might buy an animal. Pack animal to bring with us. Ixir is a good name for a 
we are. And let's get a bone dog while we're here. All right, we got ourselves a dog and a bull. Name the dog Terror. All right, well, there goes all of our money, but I think it'll be worth it. Having a pack animal is a really good idea. Now we just need to get to Blister Hill. All right, and Blister Hill is double gated for some reason. Very unique, very unique. All right, well, the game crashed and uh, we are almost back to Blister Hill again. I uh, unfortunately couldn't pick up Hobbs this time. When the game crashed, I forgot that the auto saves default to like 15 minutes, I believe. So I had to go 15 minutes back in time due to not quick saving or anything like that, which uh, was about the time that I picked up the first pack piece to sell. So we'll have to go back and get Hobbs eventually. I am carrying my main character on my shoulder for full because we got attacked by dogs on the way back again, but everything's pretty much back to where it was, I would say. Uh, besides, you know, Hobbs missing and Terror being a little damaged and Preserver being unconscious in a recovery coma. But uh, hopefully we can disable some of these mods, especially the ones that are conflicting the buildings, and that should prevent the crashes in the future. Alright guys, and that'll end today's episode. It's unfortunate about the crash, but uh, hopefully we can get Hobbs back whenever we go back to stock, which shouldn't be too far off, especially because we have a few bees now of burden that we can carry stuff with. It'd be good to do a trade run between stock and blister hill. I'll also disable some of the mods for the building so everything gets situated. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to like it if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that also. If not, perfectly okay, you can dislike the video. Oh wait, no you can't, not a thing anymore, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, hope you have a good one, see you next time.